Thank you, Holy Spirit. Church, hmm. look unto someone and say, Sister, brother, tonight you will pray as never before. I didn't hear amen. 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 Shout hallelujah. Agents in this house must drop their weapons. Agents in what? Must drop their what? Their weapons. Whether you are a man, a wizard, or a witch, drop your weapon. Because tonight, our God is in control. Drop your weapon before it is too late. Second King 6, verse 1, and verse number 1 coming. The coming of the prophets said to Elisha, Look, the place where we meet with you is too small for us. Let us go to the Jordan where each of us can get a pole. God bless you, Pastor Chris. Church, watch this. Do I have someone in this house who wants to experience enlargement in this life? Can, can I see your hands? You want the living God to enlarge your what? Do I have someone in this house? Are you ready? Yes. Do you need an expansion in your life? Do you want God to do mighty things in your life? Church, watch this. The company of the prophets said to Elisha, the company of the prophets said to Elisha, look, the place where we meet, meet with you. Watch this. Look, the place where we meet with you. Can you see it? It's too small for us. It is too small for us. Shout hallelujah. It means that they found out that their prayers were what? Too small. They went to the prophet, which is the leader, the father, and said, the place is too small. It was a prophetic school. A powerful school. And Elisha was a powerful what? Leader. That used to teach them prophecies. How you can hear from God. It was a training what? Grand school. Powerful one. Then they said, the place is too small. What is the meaning of that? It means that people started coming. 
And lo and behold, they what? Overgrown the place. Am I right? Then they said, this place cannot contain us anymore. We have to do something. In life, in life, God wants you and me, church, to move forward. To see greater things. The living God wants the church. You, your children, you can name them. To reach unto the higher what? Ground. It is the will of God that you and me will prosper. It is the will of God that we as Christian church will see greater things. And it is the will of Satan, not God, Satan, for you not to prosper. Shout hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody? I want to take my time tonight, church. Pardon me to use this word, please. And to put something here. And after that, you have prayer topics. And to stand upon and what? And pray. Where we are is too small. Look! I want come. Please. Get me the book. Yeah, this one. Yes. God bless you. My son, John, give me two bottles of water. Be fast. Let's take it right now, okay? That this is what the living God has already what? Released onto your hands. How about come? That how about? This is for you. Your gift. Watch this. Let me have another one. More water. Watch this. Okay. Our, let's take it now, okay? That this, take this. Our addiction, you know, needs more water. Watch this. Oh. And this is the book God has what? Already released unto what? This is for you, your property. And this water belongs to you. And watch this. What is going on now? The water is what? And now, this man needs more water. Am I right? The man needs more what? Water. When I continue to pour more water, the water is going to be what? Wasted. Am I right? It will be wasted. Am I right? Why? The water will be wasted because the bowl is too small. So if this man needs want to get more water, he must put this bowl somewhere and get the bigger one. Am I talking to somebody? You are expecting right now powerful blessings, am I right? But the bowl you are right now, you have right now is too small. And before you can get more, you have to change your bowl. God will not come from heaven and change it. You have to put it somewhere and get bigger one so that you receive more water. Some people are praying that Lord, we need an overflow. May you bless me. I need more. But your bowl is too small. And you need more. What do you have to do? God, may you come and change my bowl. I don't need any more. God will never come from heaven. He has given you power to throw this somewhere and to get bigger one. That is why he said that enlarge the tent of your what? You must enlarge it. And the Lord will fill it. It means that get a big bowl and leave the rest unto the hands of God. Enlarge your tent and leave the rest. 
Jehovah. And you will see what he will do. Shout hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody? Pardon me, church, to use. I need more water, oh Lord, uh, you know, to wash myself. I need more water. But your bucket, your bowl, is too small. And how can you get? Look at this. Oh. Look at this. The water here, right now, all of them, they are going to be what? Wasted. Why don't you drop it and get the big one? Does it make sense to someone? Then they said to the prophet, look where we are. The other version said that as you can see, the place is what? Too small. Now we must go to Jordan and cut beams, poles, am I right? And to build a, a new school. Then he said, you can go. Then one of the students said, Papa, why don't you come, come with us? We need you. Then he said, okay, I will go with you. Because they wanted to expand, am I right? And to enlarge the world, the school, the church. In your life, you need expansion. In your life, as I'm talking to you right now, you won't go to do mighty things. Am I right? You've been praying, Lord, I want you to enlarge my tent. I want you to do mighty things. But you are still holding, Lord, watch this, onto that old type of word, mentality. And how can you see greater things? Today, drop that old bowl that small one, put it somewhere. Because your God is bigger than this. Amen. I'll go and throw them out. Shout hallelujah. Yeah. Am I giving somebody right information? So tonight, you must get a big bull. Somebody who said, a prophet, how can I get one? Do I have, do I have to go to, uh, what did they call it? Uh, Walmart or somewhere to get big one? Let me give it to you right now, church. You have the bowl. You have it. You are holding it right now. And that your bowl is here. Your mind. Your mindset. Excuse me. The way you think. The way you perceive things. Your dream church is too small. Today if you. Will think big. The Lord will release bigger things. In your life. You must change your mind. Shout hallelujah. The word of the Lord said that in all things we should give thanks to God. Yes, we must give thanks to God. But I am here to announce to you, because your God is what? A big God, church. As a child of God, you must always dream big. Dream big in which way? You must have a powerful vision. That I will be this. I will reach to this level. I will see greater things. I shall be a powerful leader. I will see mighty things. You don't have to think small. Enlarge your tent. And for you to enlarge your tent, church, it must first take place from the mind. Your mind. Somebody will say that, do not think big. You know, you know, God, you know, uh, you have to pray that, Lord, may your will be done. He has given you the power to ask him what he wants him what to do. You have to ask God. Papa, look, where we are is too what? Small for us. 
Let us go. Look, look at it. Let us go to the Jordan. Am I right? Let us go to the Jordan. They asked the leader, Papa, can you go with us? Shout glory be the God. I want to show you something. Hmm. Look, the place where we meet with you is too, old, too small for us. Let us go to Jordan where each of us can cut, uh, can cut what? Can get what? A pole. Am I right? And let us build a place there for us to what? To meet. And he said, go. Can you see it? And he said what? Go. Then three. Then one of them said, won't you please come with your servants? Won't you please come with what? When they revealed their plans to their what? Their leader. The leader said, is a good idea, powerful one. May you go. Then one said, Leader, with this kind of assignment, with this kind of business, the things we want to do now, one of the sons of the prophet was in the spirit and he perceived that there shall be a danger thing. Someone will try to fight them. And God spoke through him. Then he asked the man of God, won't you please? Because when they told him about the appearance, he said, go. It means that may the living God be with you. Am I right? Then one said, won't you please? You can tell somebody about your plans. Am I right? And at times, you have to ask. You are good to tell someone about your plans and the whole thing. But what about you asking? They told him about their plans. Am I right? But they didn't ask him. That said, can you go with us? And one of them, Holy Spirit <laughs> prompted him. And he said, please, won't you? Then he said, I will go with you. While one of them said that please won't you go with us? We want you. Why? Have you asked yourself? Shout hallelujah. Shout amen. amen. Church, let me tell you something. At times, there are certain things, church, whether you like it or not, apart from the backing of God, you may need the backing of your leader. Don't let anyone release something in you, some kind of arrogant spirit, and say that, oh, I serve a living God. After all, when you ask God, let me tell you this, at times, times there are some certain things without the backing of your leader to be impossible shout hallelujah we all depend on God perfect God is the one that will answer your prayers and the whole thing yes but at times, you may need higher authority to break some certain things. That is what we are going to do today. They told him about their plans. And he said, go. He wanted one of them to say something. Then the wisest one among them said, won't you please 
Shout hallelujah. And he said, I will go with you. Am I giving somebody right information? Watch this. Why won't you please go with us? Why? Because the wisest one among them, church, saw in the realms of the spirit that something will happen. I can sense some kind of danger. God must do something. Leader, I want to, he said, I will go with you. Church, and all of them, they what? They went. Am I right? Started their job. And the whole thing. Powerful beings. They started cutting them. Boom, boom. This one. You know. Odum, what did they call them? You can name them. Mahogany and all of them. They started. Then one of the students. Because of his good mind, number one, because of that kind heart, because that guy had the good plans about the things of God, the guy put his problems a whole thing somewhere, and he said, I must first think about God's house. God must do something. I have to put everything somewhere. Though I don't have money to buy the as what head. Am I right? I don't have money. But I will go and borrow. I will go and what? And borrow from some. House to house. Knocking. Please, can I have this? Knocking. No, I don't have. Knocking, I don't have. And lo and behold, do you know what happened? Somebody gave it to him. And said, that, please, you know, I was about to go to farm. May you go and use it, and when you finish, please, I'll be waiting. And look at what happened. <laughs> Everybody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then one of them said, Won't you please come with what? With your servants? I will. Elisha did what? Replied. Am I right? And he went with them. They went to what? Where? Jordan. And began to what? Cut down trees. Uh -huh. And what happened, Pastor Cruz? As one of them was cutting down. Look at this. Them. Look at this. As one of them were what? Was cutting down was, a tree. What, no, as one of them was what? Was cutting down a tree. As one of them. Watch this. As one of them. Not all. As one of them. <laughs> Theologians eh, will tell you that oh, it was coincidence. They will use carnal mind. But I am here to tell you as a prophet. Who knows spiritual things, church? I am here to let you know that the things that happened to that guy was an attack. Theologians will tell you that, you know, there was some kind of loose and the whole thing, the whole thing was not fit. That, that, I can tell you that it was what? Spiritual attack. Do you know the reason why? Because the guy wanted to expand the church. The guy wanted to do mighty things. And bear this in mind. Put it in your mind. Satan doesn't want you as a Christian to go forward. Satan doesn't want you as a believer to see expansion in your life. Satan doesn't want to hear that. So anytime someone tries to move forward. Anytime someone tries to plan, you know, and to put things in place, this time I have to move forward. That will be the time Satan will tell his agent to fight you so that you cannot move forward. But today, I came from the throne room of God and to announce to you today 
that satanic powers against you against the church that doesn't want you and me to move forward we are not going to sit down we will crush them with fire and we shall conquer them and triumph over them in the mighty name of jesus because the one that is in you is greater than the one that is in the world i might give you somebody right information how are I am here to announce to the church that Satan wants you to be stagnant. The level you are now, he wants you to stay there until Jesus comes. For you to move forward in life or to go forward in life, that is not the will of Satan. For you to move forward, church, Bear those things in mind as a Christian that for you to move forward, it is not the will of Satan. Somebody will say that to move forward in the world. No, I'm talking about to move from level one to level two, level two to three, until you get to seventh dimension. Satan doesn't want you to get to that place, Satan will fight you. Satan will bring confusion. Watch this. Can I tell you something? This one, I prophesy with my eyes open. Not that see the Lord. The time you will decide to enter into fasting, fasting and prayers, and pray seven days, three days dry, check it, sit down and check it. That will be the time people will bring negative news. That will be the time some kind of depth that you, your mind is, that will be the time they will call you. The second day of your fast. Here come Bank of America. That will be the day they will call you from back home that this one and this one is sick. That will be the time you will see so many things. Do you know the reason why? Because the devil knows that you have already started spiritual journey and you will get somewhere. And if you don't take care, you'll reach to some certain level because of what has been, you know, let me just stop and do it next week. Church, let them call you 700 calls. Receive it. Do not stop praying. Do not stop the fast. Because it's a journey. God is waiting for you and that on the third day he will hold your hands and take you to the higher level. That will be the time the witches and wizards will cause confusion. That enough is enough. Pay no more attention to foolish people but you must move on in life and achieve something. Instead of you to fast and pray, that will be the time you will sit with unnecessary things. No more. Put them somewhere and move forward because you are into spiritual gen. Shout hallelujah. Shout amen. amen. Anyone that will try to bring negative news, tell that person I hear you. Put it somewhere. I am on a sermon. When I finish, I will get back to you. Do not pay attention to those things. Devil can use anyone. Anyone. That is why you have to be very careful about those who always bring negative news. Positive news, they won't bring it. But negative one, they will come and tell you, enough is enough. Because you are into a spiritual gym. Out, hallelujah. And be very careful about your spiritual journey. It's you alone. It's you alone. At times, some of you will call friends. Can you accompany me? God told you that, Frank, I want you to journey with me. God didn't say that. Call David. Call Tabet. He said, You. God called Abraham alone. And said that I want you to journey with me. Abraham, look at that. Lord, Lord, come on. God is calling us. So God said, hey, I called you. I didn't say that. Abraham, you and Lord must leave you. He said, Abraham, leave. God didn't mention uh, uh, Lord. 
But because of what Abraham did, started what? Walking around, run about, until God opened his eye. He said, my brother, come here. Enough is enough. This time, you, as you can see, when you take left, I will take right. Right, I will take left. It is time for us to what? Am I right? So that there will be no confusion. Because things started happening about their servants. He said, brother, we don't have to fight. Lord looked where he saw some certain type of green. Am I right? Green, powerful one. Not desert, not dry leaves. Powerful one. He said, brother, I want to take this one. He said, are you sure? You want this one? Yes, brother, I want this one. Because it was powerful. As a Christian, do not use this to check things. But you must use inside eye. That is called the inner eye. You must have a vision. Some of you, excuse me, pardon me, church. You like sweet things. You know, you know the things that you don't want to spend any strength, something. Just uh, cheap, cheap. You want it. But cheap things at times cost. You pay double. Which you have to be very careful. Lord said that what do you have to take the dry place? No, 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 no. I like this place. No, knowing that, you know, it was green, powerful, but inside. Do you know the place our Lord chose? It was Sodom and Gomorrah. That at the end of the day, Abraham had to what? Fight on his behalf. Time you, you can look at something, you know, green in the whole thing. Check inside. Inside. The later on, he wanted to compromise. So that I, I have to, excuse me, uh, my daughter's virgins. Please, you can take them. And still, they refuse. And say that we saw men. We want them. We don't need women again. We want men. The angels have to pull the uh, 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 Lord in and they release a uh, blindness upon them. Am I right? Sodom. But do you know what happened? Instead of him to bind into the things of God and to take the dry place, do you know what happened? At the end of the day, Lord uh, lost uh, his what? His wife. She became pillar of salt. Do you need expansion in your life? Do you want the living God to enlarge your tent? Then get ready for what? An attack. They will come. Demons will come. Witches will come. They will fight you. Devil can use anybody. I'm telling you. At times, instead of you to move forward, church, you'll be talking and sitting, excuse me, with wrong people. That look at what this one. You said this about me. You said this one, church. Enough is enough. Forget about those people. Let them say what they want to say. And move on with God. The Lord wants to journey with you. Forget about the things that uh, they've been saying about you, church. Put them somewhere. Because you are into some kind of spiritual journey with God. God is waiting for you. And you are sitting with wrong people talking. Are you not the one who said it? Are you not the one who said it? It's not me. By the time you realize, it have to take three days. We must redeem our time. Because the days are evil. We have something that when you go to Bible school, time management. Amen. How you can manage your time. At times there are certain things you don't have to go. We are in a western world, you know, your phone can do some certain things. The things that you have to drive all the way four hours, your internet can do it. That is called time management. How you can manage your time. Shout hallelujah. Pardon me, church. Forgive me to use this word, please. 
when you get into plane, am I right? Let's take it a uh, uh, hitro, uh, uh, skipo. Uh, what did they call it? Uh, you can name them. Pardon me. At times you can see some white people, am I right? And some blacks too, am I right? Sitting on a, their laptop, am I right? Even in the plane, something. They are doing some kind of, am I right? And you will be sitting on WhatsApp. Hey, WhatsApp. <laughs> WhatsApp. Somebody is doing something for good business. Business transaction. And you, you are watching up on WhatsApp. They want someone insulted someone on social. Give it to him. Give it to him. Hey, go on. Give it to him. You are sick. When you go to lunch, you can see them busy. They'll be eating at the center. When you go to UK, you're not talking. I used to visit UK a lot, a long, long, long time ago. When I get to UK, I would take my picket daily line, those who know UK, to Manor House. I know all the places, but 17, going to Wood Dream Mall, all of them. I used to. <laughs> but you guys tie me here. But the time will come. Shout hallelujah. <laughs> Do you know what? When you get into bars, you can see the white people. They'll be reading. Reading. But some of you will push something here. Hey, man. We must redeem the time. Because the days use the, your time, your quality time. Do something. You have homework. You have some kind of assignment, am I right? Which you have to do. You will procrastinate it and say that, oh, that this is not the time. Do it now. When someone wants to bring jealousy, gossip, gossip, tell that person, ah, I don't have time. One time Bill Gates said that I wish I will have more than 24 hours in a, a, a day. That 24 hours is not enough. And you can get 10 hours, 3 hours, something hours. You'll be talking about one issue. It's not something that will bring you money. But something that will bring curse upon you. You've been talking about people uh, and your face shows that you are a concerned person. Your face. Somebody can see without him being a prophet, can prophesy that you are a gossiper because it has, it's here. It has already put a, a picture. And the way your mouth has been lifted, you know, knows that you can talk. <laughs> Repent for the kingdom of God is at home. <laughs> Use your quality time to do something that can benefit you. Shout hallelujah. They will be eating. I'm not saying oh, it's only white people. At times you can see our brothers too. Yes, I'm telling you, everyone is busy. Shout hallelujah. That doesn't mean that you can't play on your, uh, uh, what do they call it? Laptop or something. No, your leisure time, something. You can do something. Am I right? It's not every day. But, 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 you know, you have to relax your mind too. Am I right? By you 24-7. Somebody will be doing something and you will do the catapulting. Bang! I hit him. 24-7. What's wrong with you? Shout hallelujah. Look at someone and say, what's wrong with you? Why don't you go through your Bible? Anytime I travel, this Bible doesn't go uh, under. It's up. Because that is my shield. I need it. I will open it, read it, uh, do some notes, uh, three, four hours. I will get messages. Powerful ones. By you on social media. This one will tell the way you, you, you know how to uh, 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 type. Am I right? Why don't you go and look for uh, 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 a job? Am I right? You know how to talk. You can make good use of that talking. Am I right? Information desk.
Fifteen dollars an hour. Because it's your habit. Use it. Thank God that you can talk. Change it. Go and look for a job. Am I right? I'm telling you. 24-7, this one will ring. Hello, hold on. Please. Hey. It means that you, you have this, but you are making good use of it. You get money. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody? Look at somebody and say, tell somebody and say, any attack against you, against you. Today, today, the living God, will crush them shout hallelujah church i have three minutes and i'm done i don't know if i'm giving you right information shout hallelujah, hallelujah. am i giving you right information the rest the abonus you just take it and your life will never be the same everybody shout hallelujah look where we are is too small they told the leader you have god all right but at times, there are some certain things you may need the backing of what? Of a leader. A certain things. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The spirit of a father must go with you. Hmm. The guy started cutting. And what happened to Verse 5. Five. As one of them was cutting down a tree, the iron axe head fell into Look the at water. This. The iron axe, axe what? Head, head fell, fell into the water. Everybody said the iron. The iron axe head. Axe say the iron. The iron axe head, axe head fell, fell into the what? Into the water. Ah, into the what? Look at this. So, church theologians will tell you that oh, it, a whole thing was a. Uh, Coincidental, am I right? Oh, no, 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 it was no, 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 no. According to you know, if a whole thing was tied in a way that there is no way that thing could have. But I am here to tell you, as a prophet of God, that the whole thing was what? Was an attack, spiritual attack. Do you know the reason why? Everybody say why. Today, I want you to picture this. The guy wanted to cut beam. And to enlarge the things of God. Am I right? The enthusiasm of that young boy was so powerful. In such a way that, Lord, I don't have money to buy this. But I will go and borrow mm. from my friend. Look at this cow. Mm. And Satan was so mad. And said, look at you. I want you guys to stay where you are. That small place. And now you guys want to enlarge your tent. I will attack you guys. And it fell into the water. The water. God was with him. But how come it fell into the water? God is with you all right. But how come you and me are going through so many things? Do you know the reason why? Because it's part of life. The battle that you are in right now will determine or will show where you will be in future. Your battle will come and sharpen you and for you to receive promotion. But your battle will not come and disgrace you. Your test will come so that you will receive promotion. But your test will not come and what? Demote you. So the moment you pass your test, you receive promotion. So in life, whether you like it or not, mm. there will be some kind of war battle. Whether you like it or not, they will fight you. They will do so many things. Oh Lord, where are you? Why? I pay my title, do a whole thing, Lord. But look at this, financially, I am struggling right now. Oh Lord, why don't you? It means that you are going forward and Satan doesn't want you to go forward. 
Satan doesn't want you to what? To move forward. But I have a good news for you. Watch this. Anyone that will try to fight you for you not to get to your destination, do you know what will happen to that person? Disgrace or untimely death? Anyone that is fighting the church, you mark it, disgrace or untimely death. Do you know the reason why? The reason is that no one can fight God and win. So what they are doing right now with here and there, your left or your back and the whole thing, have one thing in mind, that at the end of the day, you will be a victorious Christian. You shall be a victor, but not a victim. At the end of the day, you have a testimony. So let them do what they want to do. Let them release arrows, and none of them will touch you. Let them release guns, and none of them will touch you. Let them speak against you, and none of them will uh, 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 come to you. Let them plan against you, and it will backfire on them. But later on, do you know what will happen? Whether disgrace or untimely. Two things. There are two things that God has already prepared for them. Disgrace. Do you know the meaning of that disgrace? They will see your breakthroughs. They will see you giving testimony. They will see you wearing your wedding ring. They will see you with your children. They will see you with your husband. They will see you with your wife. They will see the church running services and services and getting our own cathedral. They will see it before they die. Because if the Lord is on your side, who can be against you? And no weapon that form against you shall prosper. The tongue that will rise against you in judgment, God will judge that tongue. I am here to declare unto you as a prophet of God that any generational curse against you today, you will come out as a victorious Christian because you are a carrier of God's agenda. You have a prophetic tag on your forehead. You shall be a successful Christian in the mighty name of Jesus because the living God is with you. If I'm prophesying to somebody, say, I receive it. Say, I receive it. Am I talking to somebody? Do, do you want me to pray to you? Do you want me to pray to you? Shut your be to God. Do you watch this. Whether you, you like it or not, church, on this earth, we have some people that the moment you will say to yourself that now I have to move forward. There are some people who will not be happy with you. We have dream killers. And they are witches and wizards. So be very careful about the one that you always share your dream with. There are some people that will kill your dream. Spirit of jealousy. They will kill your dream. Somebody will say that, how can I know them? Pray to God and you will know. Amen. At time physical, you can see from their facial expression. Their countenance and the whole thing will change when you share good dreams with them. They don't want to hear good dreams about you. They don't want to see mighty things. But I am here to announce to you, the giver of that dream will sit with that your dream will come to pass. So no matter what they, they do. Am I speaking to someone? And we have some people, they don't want to hear good things about you. Bad things, they are good. They will come and tell you. 2 a.m., they will wake you up. But good things someone will tell, he say about you. They have been seeing you moving up and down. But they won't say anything. Something that can lift your spirit, no. But negative one, oh, they will spiritualize it. Hypocritical way and come and share with you that it look as if they care may the lord give you spiritual insight Hallelujah. you need spiritual insight then you will know that mm, this one every, it is my prayer that every christian must have discernment of spirit the spirit that you can discern some certain things 
At times, somebody you can allow somebody to talk, uh, you look, uh, you say, hey, hey, hey. you just go because you know the person already. Am I speaking to someone? Can you ask yourself that why that what uh, God, the only one, one person, and one of them, one of them, shall glory to God. Uh, the Bible didn't mention that the rest, they borrowed uh, the uh, as head from somewhere or something, the iron, uh, you know. But this one said that, prophet, I borrowed. And let's take it right now. The only one that borrowed from someone was the one that the enemy attacked. Do you know something? The devil wanted to use those things and to dump his spirit. The devil wanted to kill the guy's uh, enthusiasm. The devil wanted to break the spirit of that guy. But the guy said, <laughs> devil, whether you like it or not, Papa is here. So when the incident happened, God, uh, the boy, didn't turn to left, neither right. The boy did not lift uh, uh, his eyes, am I right, head up and say that God I will lift up my eyes onto the hills and where did my help come from the boy didn't do anything at times somebody will tell you that consult God so let me tell you this it's very deep Papa forgive me I am just a human being Papa forgive me please it's very it's too heavy but I have to tell you let me tell you this at times there are some certain things, church, you don't have to ask God, but you have to ask your leader. <laughs> your God has given you the mouth of God and the eye of God that represent a prophet. How come the guy didn't pray to God, but the guy went straight to the leader? <laughs> Shout hallelujah. The, listen. Except those who are in the spirit that will understand this. That is what I'm saying. Is, let Archbishop Benson Idahosa, a mighty giant in Africa, and I will continue to salute him until Jesus comes. A great giant, not only in Nigeria, the whole world, whether you like it or not. A giant. In Africa. South Hallelujah. Archbishop Benson Idahosa. Saliba Hakasekita. Everybody shout hallelujah. One time said this. He said something in Nigeria. <laughs> it was deep. He went somewhere, you know, one uh, went there to preach. And that time, you know, someone wanted to turn Nigeria as a Muslim country. They announced it in the whole thing. And he saw a whole thing on the news. Stop the crusade. Return to Nigeria. He said, the time they announced this, that a whole thing, Nigeria has turned into Muslim, this thing, I, Benson Idahosa, were not around. And now I am back. You must go and tell. He said, Tomorrow, Mr. President must go to uh, national television and say that it's false. Just like that. And the next day, President went to national television and said that I am the one who said it, but now I've reversed it. Didn't pray in tongues, nothing. He said, Tomorrow. To what? Tomorrow. No one didn't say anything, nothing. The next day, breaking news. Nigeria is no more. I am the one. 
don't do it. Do not. And he said this, that God, you have to stay up there. This battle, I can fight. Lord, I don't need you. And some people started, why do you have to talk like that? You don't understand spiritual things. Because that one, God has already given him the authority which he can handle it. Why does he have to bother God? There are some younger, younger demons. You can beat them with the strength you have. Because there is power in you. Why do you have to call God? After we worried our papa for, you know, any literature, hey, professor, where are you? I wrote it, so I, I. Today I will sleep in my room. Come on, wrote it. So can't you face, uh, 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 and you talk, hey, tonight, prophet, prophet, hey, don't bother me. Let me sleep. Face the wrote it. Kill it. Uh, uh, why? Shout hallelujah. I, am I talking to somebody? Am I speaking to somebody? He said, that God, you have to stay up there. This one I can handle. It. Shout hallelujah. Am I speaking to somebody? One of the mighty prophets that I started revival in Ghana. Hmm. Oh. Giants. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Reverend Akosia Mwako. Hmm. Kapasa. Went to United Kingdom. He was watching the television and lo and behold, which is came on television life life that we are going to do our conference they announced it life which is conference which here they don't hide it they don't right now as i'm talking to you right now they have the church of satan they have some church, uh, certain uh, churches naked i came the pastor is naked. Members are naked. We'll be preaching. Other churches, they use snakes. That recently, one of them, uh, beat, uh, uh, the leader, when he refused to go to the hospital and he died. Different types of things. Shout hallelujah. Which Ghana, as I'm talking to you, Ghana, Northern part of Ghana, they have witches camp. The witch camp. They are witches and wizards. They are camp. That's it, that is where they, yeah, when you go to the northern part, the witch camp. They are there. Shout hallelujah. Here, I don't know, even they can have school that they can train witches. How you can do, uh, recently in, what the, one of the African countries, whether South, Uganda or South Africa or somewhere, they have a school of uh, witches. That one finished the school. Yeah, South Africa, the graduation and the whole thing, they gave him the certificate. Yeah. Shout hallelujah. They have the level up to PhD. This is what is going on right now in the system. I don't know. I saw it. Is it South Africa? And what are we doing now? What are we doing now? That recently they arrested one in Zimbabwe selling a ticket to heaven. A prophet. Take it to heaven for sale. Stupidity, stupidness, craziness. Can you do such a stupid thing in America? Mm. 
Everybody shout hallelujah. Watch this. The man said, Lord, this one, you don't have to come. I can handle it. Some people say that what do you have to talk like that in the whole thing? Look at this. The man is arrogant in the whole thing. When you get to understand spiritual things, there are some certain things you just have to speak and say that this one it will never work. Because your mouth shall be the mouth of God, your tongue shall be the tongue of God. That when you speak, the boy didn't pray, didn't did not fast. He said that God, where are you? But the boy consulted his leader. Because his leader at that time represents what? God. Went to the leader and said that, Papa, the iron of my what? As head, am I right? Fell into the what? The water. I borrowed. Papa said that, let's go. Where? Can you show me? Papa, this side. He said, can I have a, a wood, a stick, something? And he threw the stick, am I right? To that same direction. And that heavy metal. The guy shown the prophet this place. He said, give me a stick. The man of God didn't pray. But it was a direction. Direction. That's what this end time, the fake ones, fake ones, they are giving some horrible directions. Hey. Be careful. Be careful about the directions that those strange people when they give you be careful the fake ones because if you don't take care it can kill you you will die there are some directions it doesn't make sense am i right put soap into water and just shake it three times you just drink it you won't die tell the prophet prophet drink it first You and your children and your wife, enjoy first. And if nothing didn't happen, I will come and enjoy it. I'm, I'm not talking to somebody. And when he threw the uh, stick into the world, that heavy metal, church, watch this. This is what I want to stop now. I will look at this. Heavy metal. Am I right? I will give me this. The twenty dollars. Yeah, twenty. Yeah, twenty. Let's take it right now. This one is what represent the what? The stick. The man of God for you a whole thing. How on earth? That this paper stick. Am I right? This heavy one. Which means we need divers. We have to go and bring divers. And for them to dive. So that they can what? Bring the whole thing back. Am I right? But the prophet did not call divers. But the man of God used spiritual method and said that let me have a stick. And the stick, church, that you are holding right now represents Jesus. A powerful branch of the world, a whole tree. And that heavy metal he told the guy take it take it and the guy took it the 
Bible didn't mention if the guy continued or something, the whole thing. But the things that the enemy uh, took it from the guy, God brought it back. Do you know the reason why Satan attacked that boy? Because Satan didn't want that boy or the church to move forward. Satan didn't want the school to be what? To become big. Satan doesn't want to hear the word enlargement or expansion, church, in your life. But today, I am here to announce to you that whether they like it or not, you don't have to think about the attacks, but you must think about the giver of that dream. God has given you a prophet. God has given you the eye of God. And whether they like it or not, church, we will get to our destination. I would give me the keys. They are fighting us. Agents in this house, they are fighting. They do meetings. They do so many things. But I am here to announce to you, because we belong to God, and the church is for who? Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. No weapon that form against us shall prosper. Whether they like it or not, our end, your end, my end, shall be great. Do not look at the battle, but lift your eyes onto the hill. So who wants to see expansion in his or her life? And who wants to see enlargement uh, in uh, 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 his life? You want to see something? Then today, number one, change your mindset. And number two, we are going to pray. May you be on your feet right now. Shout hallelujah. Is it a right word for someone? Is it a right word for somebody? Shout glory be to God. Look at somebody and say, we are going to fight. <laughs> Be on your feet right now. Shout hallelujah. Church, church, can I tell you something? <laughs> you have no idea. The agents against me and the agents against you doesn't, number one, they don't want you to pray. Yes. And they don't want you to move forward in life. But we are still moving forward. Can't you see? We are still moving what? And the more you move forward, the more they punish them. And right now, they have already released some kind of reinforcement, am I right? And to fight you. But today, there will be some kind of angelic host. Angels will reinforce on your behalf. And the things that you need, will come on your table in life in life whether you like it or not church i am here to let you know the fight war is part of life don't give up you are a warrior you have a warrior spirit fight as never before until you get to where god has what already destiny for you are you ready to pray are you ready to do something? Because they wanted to open the world uh, to enlarge the school. Am I right? Expansion. And Satan said, that, no, I want you to be where you are. Check your life right now. Pardon me to use this word. Your life right now, you can see some uh, things that you can't move forward. You are where you are right now. Stagnant life. Since 2012, you get your pay, pay your uh, things, everything, that's it. And now you are saying that demons are fighting you. Why don't you fight them? I am under some kind of financial attack. Why don't you fight them? I can't see my thing. Why don't you fight them? Anytime someone wants to come, my husband and the whole thing, they want to. You too, you must push them and bring your husband. God has given you the power. He has given you the ability, the strength. Are you ready to declare something today? Tonight, 
If I be a man of God, I am here to declare unto you today. <laughs> May the Lord open your eyes and to see some certain things tonight. Anyone that will try to attack you, church, we will tear them. We will what? Tear them in pieces. Uh, uh, lift your hands up. Sharaba Gezeke Posak.